In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us here online today. We call to mind our sins as we seek the Lord's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and to bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress. In faith we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted. Grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place among in the uh, temple area and tell the people everything about his, this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported, we found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors, but when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In her book, Simple Faith, Margaret Self, and her last name is spelled S-I-L-F, writes about visiting the, this huge basilica of St. Ignatius in the small town of Loyola in Spain, and at the time, the church was under renovation. It was surrounded by scaffolding. In the small park in front of the church was a kiosk selling newspapers, candy, and other small items. And Self writes, a man came along with his small daughter and their dog. The man brought a newspaper for himself and a little container of soap bubbles for his daughter to play with. They sat down beside me. The man was engrossed in his newspaper. The little girl was delightedly blowing bubbles, clearly entranced by the magical color globe that each bubble formed as it caught the sunlight. The dog jumped up after every bubble and tried to catch it, but as soon as he seized the bubble with his snout, the bubble burst. I asked myself, which is teaching more me about the kingdom of God? The mighty basilica with all its scaffolding or this little girl's joy at the beauty of the world reflected in her bubbles? The little girl was a reminder that as we try to take hold of this mystery and pin it down into our own categories, words, and meanings, we destroy it. If we think we got, we will lose it. If we think we have arrived, we have gone down a cul-de-sac. We continue uh, our gospel reading from the writer John, uh, the third chapter to be specific, and it's this dialogue between Jesus and Nicodemus, and it occurs at night, and this dialogue uh, uh, concludes tomorrow. Jesus turns uh, Nicodemus' understanding of God, and so he invites the Pharisee, and certainly all of us, to, re to rediscover the many ways in which the love of God is revealed in our lives. In the life God breathes into our souls, in the love of God dwelling among us, in the love of families and friends, and on this day, the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, God breathes into our souls. And so the reality is that God lies beyond the grasp of our time bound, our limited human understanding. God will always be a mystery. But signs of that mystery fill our lives, especially as we struggle with COVID-19. There are certainly shards from that great light that is God illuminating and consecrating our homes and our hearts. But in realizing such wonder, may our disappointments in life 
and our obtuseness to God's presence be transformed into an awareness of God's love and a spirit of gratitude for this precious gift of life we have received only because of that mysterious love of God. We now present to the Lord our concerns and petitions as we respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That church leaders may have a spirit of humility as they serve in Jesus' name, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That political leaders may have the guidance of the Holy Spirit to bear the fruits of peace and justice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That prisoners may be treated with dignity and restored to right relationship with society upon their release, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community of believers may be guided by God's grace in all we say and do, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all who died believing in Christ may be saved through him and have eternal life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Anna Elias, for whom this Mass is offered, and for those silent intentions we lift up from our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we make all of these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit to the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us, by your power, a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to claim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed by the oblation of his body. He brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. 
and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the hymn of your glory. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks. He gave it to his friends and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, your people spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray the words that Jesus himself once prayed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith and courage of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a nice day, everybody. Thank you.